Now, CBS3 Springfield Sports. Last week's win over New Hampshire was merely a tune-up for what UMass had to face today. The undefeated, number one ranked, defending national champions, the Richmond Spiders. A pretty intimidating sight, if you ask me. Anyone remember the movie Arachnophobia by chance? Well, UMass wasn't afraid of spiders early on. First drive for the Minutemen, Armando Cuco, the 33-yard field goal to give UMass the 3-0 lead. UMass then forces a punt, but Kyle Havens giving the ball right back. A horrible day for the junior. One of his four interceptions right here. This one courtesy of Patrick Weldon. Four plays later, it's Ben Keating from a yard out, and the Spiders crawl to the 7-3 lead. In the second quarter, down came the rain. Didn't wash the Spiders out, though it only provoked them more. Havens can't hang on to this snap. Justin Rogers falls on it for Richmond. Things going from bad to worse for the Minutemen. Two plays later, Justin Forte, maybe the best running back in the country, showing us all why. 17 yards out, and UMass now down 14-3. UMass then goes three and out. Richmond the rock again, but nice D from Kyle Harrington just pulling Forte down on the ground, but luck on the side of Richmond. Havens is benched in favor of Scott Woodward, and not much better. The pass tipped and picked off by Parker Miles for a touchdown. Spiders all over the Minutemen, 27-3 in the third. Here's one nice play if you're a UMass fan, though. In the fourth, Woodward hooking up with Victor Cruz across the middle. UMass trailing 27-12, but no comeback this afternoon. The Minutemen lose to Richmond 34-12. It's a loss, and it, you know it's, it's, a, it's a bitter loss because you know with those un, with those unforced errors, you'd like to say if we didn't have those, it would have been a better shot to win a football game down here, which is hard enough. Um, you know, what do you take away from it? Hey, we know that uh, the formula for success in the CEA, as we talked about, is hold on to the rock and uh, and no bad penalties, and we had both those tonight. All right, UMass tries to get back on track next Saturday at Maine. About American International taking on Merrimack at home. Head coach Art Wilkins going for career win number 100. Let's pick it up in the third quarter. Merrimack QB James Swozo with the 24-yard touchdown pass to Jake Manning over the middle. That would bring the Warriors within a score, but it was all AIC from their next possession. Running back Amadeus Guerrero Poe. The tough 17-yard run, his second score of the day. 158 yards on the ground for the tailback. And later in the fourth, AIC QB Shane Murphy, the easy pass to Trevor Perryman to seal this one. AIC beats Merrimack for the second time this season, 41 to 13. About Westfield State taking on Bridgewater in its homecoming game. A little bit of rain on the helmets. That didn't bother Owls quarterback Kyle Anderson. This sneak here on his second effort is a success. He plunges in for the score. Westfield takes the 14 to seven lead in the second quarter. The Owls lead the country in interceptions, but the Bears showing what they can do on defense. How about Josh Duquette picking off Anderson and returning it 32 yards for the touchdown. Bridgewater does not convert the extra point, though Westfield still up by a point in the next possession. Owls start on the Bears' 33-yard line. They cap off the drive with a two-yard scamper by Steve Skrabiski. 21-13 Westfield, the Owls pull out the 28-19 win. All right, the Putnam Beavers in action this afternoon against the, win the winless Ludlow Lions at Soggy Plum Field, and we pick up the action late in the first. Beavers running back Levante Lowe takes a handoff off, goes off tackle, cuts up field, high stepping through the tackles for the touchdown. Putnam having a lot of success on the outside. Here goes Jordan Almer taking this toss into the end zone and the Beavers win their third game of the year, 34 to nothing over the Lions. The UMass hockey team made a huge statement last week with its win over defending national champ BU. The Minutemen continuing its hot streak last night with a win over rival Maine. Let's check out the action from the Mullen Center. UMass up two zip in the first. The Black Bears catching a break here. Spencer Abbott leading the two on one break. He finds Adam Shemansky who nets one home and cuts the UMass lead in half. But then four minutes later, the Minutemen strike back. Casey Wellman already a goal on the night. Here's an assist. James Marku, the wrister, which is stopped, but somehow trickles by the goal. UMass wins five to three. It's next game Friday night at Providence. The Springfield Falcons in Worcester tonight, but last night they were home against Lowell. No score in the first period. Colton Fredder changes that, takes the pass, finds the back of the twine for the 1-0 lead. And later in the period, a little bit of a mental error here by Devils goalie Mike McKenna. He leaves the net wide open. Colin McDonald makes him pay with this shot. Falcons, the 2-0 lead into the first intermission. 
Things looking pretty good, right? Well, into the second, Lowell starts to come back. Steven Gianta with the slapper from way out. That's good. Lowell comes back to beat Springfield in a shootout. Four to three, the final score. All right, good yeah. look at sports. Very nice first day out of you, hey, Ezra. Thanks very much. We're trying to sneak by one more highlight, I see, but we're not going to do it. We don't well, have time. We don't have time for that. So be it. Exactly, exactly. But we do want to welcome you formally to the CBS3 Springfield team. We do like having you aboard, and we don't have much time left. Hey. So we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I'm glad to He'll be, be taking over the VSR. We'll see you tomorrow night at 6. Very good. Yeah.